hi guys i am back with another video blue face says men can be with as many women as they want but women are considered let's get into it i hate to say it but to a certain extent, he's telling the truth about the double standard. Like, women can do certain things to men and get away with it, and then something be said when a man does it to a woman. And then the same thing, like, men can be out there with all these women. Oh, you the man, you the man. And then a woman do it. It's like, oh, really? So, some of the stuff he's saying is real true, but it's just how he coming about it, just because of the fact he's mad with, you know, Krishan. And that's one thing I did say. Once she started something, she started something. Like he said, the Me Too situation, you do something, I'm going to do it back, the back and forth thing. Like I said, when she started that, allowing him, he can be with this person, he can be with that person, she was okay with it. He felt like it was okay. So like he said, when it's a Me Too situation, like he do something, she do something, that's how he see it. So he'll never see her as an actual girlfriend. He'll see her as, okay, I'm going to do something, she's going to do something, we both going to keep doing something, we're just going to be in this situation, it's never going to be, we're going to settle down, none of that stuff like that. So He's kind of telling the truth. I know it hurts for her to hear this because of what she just said, but he's telling her like it is. This is how I feel. You can do one thing. I'm going to do something. Every time you do something, I'm going to do something. That back and forth stuff. He said, you ain't the real one. Like, he don't want to be with somebody like that. He'll deal with it because that's what he's doing. He said it ain't about money, but I really think it's about money. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and get into this, and then I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Man, I try to go live, but I guess a nigga like, I don't know, when I chill out in the club, get super like turned on thirsty, I don't know what to do, cause I'm trying to explain the double standards, cause, but, keep blowing me up on my live, I'm scared quick, so look, I'm gonna try to say as best as I can here, look, it's always and forever gonna be a double standard, baby, look, if you thousand men, you're a Nobody's gonna take you serious. Five thousand. I'm player. All the gonna take me serious. They gonna want to indulge. Like, what was? Like, what? Why do I keep you? Double standard, right? If a female put her hands on me and I, it's cool. I put her hand, my hands on her. Double standard. I'm scared. Crib. Look. A Taking care of me, it's a problem. I'm taking care of a bitch. It's cool. Double standard. Females got way more double standards in their favor. That is worth way more than you get to Dubai on a yacht, Miami, with zero down, no credit. Yeah. And Nick can't do none of that. He got to have all the credentials and the money or nobody's. So if you're a Me Too, Me Too. Hey, you just gotta accept it. You already chose to be the me too. You already chose to be like, you wanna battle about every little thing, you feel me? So you got, when it's your turn for that me too, for a nigga to be like, oh, me too? You gotta be cool with it, cause you already let a nigga believe that that's what's going on. You hear what I'm saying? You feel me? Listen up. Screw our crit. Like, you gotta be cool with it. Now, if you wanna be a side, and win on the female aspect and make a nigga feel bad like this is good right here and i just been doing wrong this whole time instead of that get even oh i can do it too you're gonna get more out of the situation i promise like females just don't get it care if you and me too you're gonna be lonely on your birthday you're gonna be lonely on valentine's day you're gonna be lonely on christmas Moral of the story for you people who don't understand, the only way females can beat a man is emotionally and mentally. You can't beat a man physically. Physically means you going off with another man that's physical. You trying to fight another man or fight the man that's physical. The only way you can beat a man is emotionally. God, you understand square crit you make a nigga feel bad like i got a good i should change you gonna get the best out of that man 
But if you on some me too, a nigga gonna be like, oh, it's even. It's regular. The scoreboard is even. I can go be with the next bitch. It's, it's, I'm one up. It's gonna forever be a scoreboard petty game. <sighs> I'm trying to help. Like, oh God. I feel like, damn. My first baby mama's a real. And I feel bad because I've been dealing with this me too. Hear me? My BM, she ain't no meat. I ain't never seen her in the club with nobody. No, none of that. No, none of that. No, nothing. You can YouTube it, Google it, whatever you gotta do. Guarantee you won't see my baby mama on oh, none of that. Right? So now, today, I'm thinking like, I should have just been with that. I didn't bust this. I made her whole life just to just to get even with me. You hear what I'm saying? You're not hearing me, cuz I'm scared of crit. Like, it's not the same, cuz you need to wake up. Feel me? Niggas always think about the, the real they had versus this that's like in the way. It's not about clout. It's not about money. It's not about none of that. What females fail to realize is niggas would rather be with a broke nobody than to be with with status or with fame, who gonna be on some me too? I can do it too. You do what I'm saying? This is why men date down and women date up. That's the double standard, right? If a man date down, it's cool. If a woman date up, it's cool. But if it's vice versa, it's gonna be questionnaires. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be oh, ah, he only this or he only that. You know what I'm saying? Like, to understand, cuz like, I need to understand it's not the same. Men and women are not the same. That's all I'm trying to preach. So if you think your is, is is equal to this, you don't know your worth, baby. You don't know your worth, cuz I will tell you first that you got is way more valuable, way more appreciated. Way more everything than this ever be. So if you trying to put your on the same level with some and you on some me too, you lost, baby. You don't know your worth. That's your problem. I don't scare a crap. That's the last thing I'm gonna post tonight. You think your is equal? Not saying I agree with the double standard, but that's true. That's the double standard. Men can do stuff and be with all these women, and it's okay. You the man. You the man. A woman do it. All you a. You know, it's, it's really a double standard. And like he said, a lot of times you want to do the me too thing. Like he do something, you do something too. That back and forth. That's just basically how it's going to be. They're going to keep doing that. And that's how he feel about Krishan. Like he said, he felt some type of way about his baby mama. He called her the B word. But then he looked back like, shoot, I'd have rather had her. Because she not with the me too stuff. He do stuff too. Because he just want to run them over basically. That's all. He, run, he ran the baby mama over and did what he wanted to. And like he said, she ain't do the Me Too stuff. So when he did stuff, she didn't go back and do the same thing. So he felt like, oh, she's a good person because let me look back. Kashan is doing this. She doing the Me Too stuff. But my baby mama wasn't doing that. Maybe I should have stayed with her. Yeah, maybe you should have because that's who you was able to just run over. You can run over Kashan too, but she going to get you back. She going to do certain things. You do something, like you said to Me Too, she going to do it too. But anyway, he wanted to be petty and respond to Kashan. I'ma stay an extra day. I'm a whole day ahead having the time of my life. Cause you remember how she was saying, You on here talking and stuff, you a whole day ahead and all this kind of stuff. Just, you know, responding to what she said, trying to be petty. But anyway, y'all comment down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to Banger Plate Gang, subscribe to Trish World. Make sure you check me out on social media. Make sure you check out my shop. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, be blessed. Anyway, enough of that stuff.